Greetings and welcome back to Against the Storm. I'm Catherine of Sky and I haven't yet remarked on how gorgeous I think the music is. I love it. It's so like beautiful. I love like simple kind of choral pieces and music. I mean, uh, piano and it's like, wow, it's just so nice. Anyway, um, yeah, we have built quite a city here. We have nobody homeless, but we started to build some beaver houses because we just got the blueprint for that. And I'm pretty excited about how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and kind of work on that and get it going. Want to maybe add some paths here and maybe beaver house over here. We need a lot of beaver houses. We need at least six at the present moment. And that's not even including for any future uh, critters that come and live here. So beaver houses are different in that they need cloth and planks to um, exist. So we're going to have to get some of that. I'm glad we set up this uh, scavenger's hut to gather the plant fiber because that's what we need to make fabric. And it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be good for us to get those things going. Now, we did recently get a camp that allows us to uh, grab berries. And I have completely forgotten where I put it. Did I? Did I put it anywhere? Oh, yeah, I did. I, put, I did. I put it here. And this one is the herbalist camp. And it's pretty cool because our berries, we can use it to make wine. We can also eat them. And we can also grab herbs with this as well as mushrooms. I feel like we've been struggling a bit on food, but we do have this wonderful, wonderful material called jerky, which is making our humans and our lizards extremely happy. We are increasing our reputation at 0.6 per minute, which is fantastic. It's huge. All right, so let's hire a human here. And they're going to grab all this stuff. And maybe a beaver as well. Actually, not beaver. We should put beaver uh, over here, maybe. Here. Not sure where we're getting the roots from, but we need more of them. I don't remember where we're actually getting the roots. It's like, huh, where? Because it could be a bonus on almost anything. We just got a new reputation point, so let's pick a new building. Ooh, trapper's camp or an herb. Oh, hi. How you doing? Yeah, roots. Roots. Come on over, roots. Okay, this is going to be our root camp, I think. I'm going to remove this woodcutter's camp and move it over here because I want to get into these new places. So let's just delete the trees into there to these little alcoves. Do, do, do. Not that one. Okay, that's fine. And then build farm fields. Oh, this is going to be amazing. So uh, we're going to get this uh, herb garden to function right there. Uh, or do we want it on the other side? No, it would have to be here or over there. Actually, over there would be better. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because the road here is going to be quite, quite good. Quite good. Quite a good road. Let's take that up this way and there we go. Easy peasy. Now, a lot of our things are fairly close, I feel, to the center of town. Maybe this one is a little bit far, but then again, we only harvest once a year, so it's not really that bad. We could stand to have maybe a storage up here. That would be nice for these, but... Otherwise, we don't have a lot of production here, so it seems a little bit fine. Um, what else? Let's see. We have one builder only currently working, so that's going to be a little bit taxing on us, but it's okay. And we can get the Happy Brewing buff right now and get our tavern. That's going to be kind of big for us because we already have stuff brewed. We just need the tavern for our people to enjoy all of the brews. So let's put that down here. Actually, let's put it right. Maybe, or I don't know. Maybe there? That seems good. Yep. Yeah, and we definitely want to get this farm up way, way high priority because it. Uh, we need to get those crops growing ASAP. Really important to get that done. Now, where is our other farm? Okay, this is over here. I don't think they're going to chop the trees into that section, so it's going to be fine. Don't need to worry about that. And roots. Are they getting roots? Uh, they are. Oh, this right. They're getting roots here. And a little bit of herbs. 
but this is going to be amazing to have herbs and roots both of the things that we need hooray finally oh my gosh this was a long time in coming all right we do need humans for that so let's find our humans wow we're gonna we're gonna win this i think very shortly okay let's take humans herbalist camp down here we have we can take one off of there maybe off the brewery as well and have them working in this herb garden super super important that we have that covered all right very good and we're done with that season hooray all right newcomers are coming in We've got a new card granary or a carpenter let's get the carpenter because i want to find out how to make oops no 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 help industry carpenter uh oh it doesn't show us it doesn't have that little icon i, I really like that actually let's put it here actually no, no 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 i'll put it at the bottom road and we can delete these trees later carpenter there okay um i was looking at yeah what oh it is we actually do need the offerings to make oh no we can choose a number of things we can choose incense manuscripts ale tea uh or offerings or training gear or wine wow and that will make the luxury goods huh that's an interesting thing i didn't know that that was uh changeable but it looks like a lot of these different things can be changed for the recipe that is needed uh, I think I'm going to put this at a very low priority because I don't really care about this being made. You know, I can't believe I didn't notice this. But yeah, you can change tea or coffee. I wonder if you can do that with other stuff. Oh, look, the trader is here. Hooray. Like the crop things. I wonder if we've been struggling for nothing. We have. No, we've been struggling for nothing. Help. Wow. Oh, the sadness is real. Jeez. Well, that was interesting. Things we find out, right? <laughs> I don't know why I never noticed that. I noticed there was like a little thing, but I never clicked it. And that was my bad. Jeez. Okay, well, that's a thing. Let's see. Biscuits. Um, Do we want anything? I'm thinking, well, herbs we are going to get anyway. We don't actually have much to pay for anything that we buy here so i think we're just gonna leave it i don't think we're gonna buy anything would be nice to get some amber but eh, not critical we're good okay we're actually good i think we're going to easily get these packs of crops now that we have found out whoops that we can <laughs> we can change that it's okay though the struggle was less than i thought that's kind of a funny thing when you discover that but okay so we found a new area here mushrooms and crazy snails and that's it so let's just finish this move the woodcutter's hut where do we want to move it eh. um i guess we can just i don't know we can keep on searching down here maybe that's what we do go down here and cut into there and there call it good Okay. Okay. Newcomers are waiting for us. Let's go. Let's get uh, more humans, maybe. What else have we got? Okay. Woodcutter's uh, crop is quicker. 15 roots a minute? Wow. That's nice. Let's go with this. I like it. 15 roots a minute is amazing. Now that we don't need roots anymore. <laughs> that's funny. That is so funny. Oh my god. Let's see. The packs of crops. We are going to get this very shortly, I think. Uh, let's put in another beaver here. Uh, let's look at also what we need. Do we have anybody? We don't have anybody homeless. That's good. I feel like we might need another workstation. Let's see. Do we have materials to support it, though? Okay. We don't have any more plant fiber. We do have wood. Uh, do we have clay? We don't have any clay either. <laughs> we, we don't have a lot of stuff here. We're missing a fair few items, apparently. 
It's okay though. This will get clay over here. So this is clay and it's going to give us also copper once we're done with the roots. So I think we are actually done with the roots. Oh, it's got one left. Okay, it's good. It's fine. And they're taking a few herbs with them. So that's yay. Very, very good. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Things are happening and stuff. And we're done. We're actually done. Look at this. Oh, we didn't even get to move the stone cutters camp. Wow, nice. Okay, so we got a couple of rewards from the uh, deeds thing. So let's go ahead and look at the world map. All right, we have stuff. We have things. We've unlocked stuff. We can get closer to one of these places with the ruins. That seems good. All right, so next phase, we're 51%. So let's go ahead and look at the smoldering city. Deeds. All right, big settlement. We got our XP. We get a lamp. I wonder what that is. Four new upgrades available. Okay. 50 points. And discovery one. Discover 30 glades. That's good. We're at level four now. Are there any others, I wonder? Nope. Okay. So let's buy upgrades. I do feel... Okay, so I do feel something about this interface and also this map. It looks kind of horrible with this text and I hope that gets changed um, because it looks very like placeholder-y because it doesn't match anything else. Like here we have this, you know, nice serif text and this is sans serif and it's like, no, 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 no. It's, it's not... I'm hoping that the devs will change it because it feels like very weird compared to the rest of the game. So anyway, we don't actually have enough bread to buy anything else. We also don't have any fancy artifacts or machinery or anything, so we can't get anything. Um, let's see, we can venture further at the beginning of a cycle. Uh, that's cool, the Embark Range. All right, Ale Delivery Line. Then we also have Copper Extractor, all s kinds of stuff. All right, let's get out of here and start a new city. I'm ready for it. Let's go down here. So now that we found out that things can be easier. So this is on the shore here. Does it matter? I guess we're always within one kind of thing here. So this trade route is going to give us either fiber or clay. Okay, that's something. Uh, not much, but something, I guess. So we get some experience, some food. Let's see. Do we get any more food from going somewhere else? This is 18... This is 18, 12, 14, 14, 14. So it looks like 18 is the highest we've seen. I'd rather get, you know, more than less. So there's uh, 18. Let's go with the 18 for now. Okay, so soil, small amounts. That doesn't sound good. Let's see, 18 over here. Soil average, I think that's better. Difficulty normal, 12. All right, modifiers. Okay, about the same kind of stuff as we had before. Um, now we get different choices, though. Uh, I don't think we actually need the wood, so I'm going to go with roots. And I'm going to take food and... Or maybe we just take extra settlers. Let's take it three beavers. Let's try this. Oh, wow, that's three? Hmm... This could be really rough if we don't have food in the first area. Eh, three beavers are nice though. <laughs> I want three beavers. No. <laughs> uh, we could take humans. That would be okay. Let's take the humans. Let's try a try a different kind of setup here. We wanna we can eat the roots, but yeah. All right. So what do we got here? Three berries. Uh, that's cool. Got plus five spark dew production. Gain additional spark dew every yield. Okay. That's quite a lot, actually. Swarms. Okay, complex food. We have good mood. We get our standard looming darkness. Fog. Okay, if they don't have housing, the unit moves slower in the storm. And that's from hostility one. Hostility three brings us... Wow. We need complex food. Or we don't need 
Hostility 3. Has a 40% chance to perish every 45 seconds. That's lizards. And three can be affected. That's just nuts. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's just find a direction that we like. I kind of like this direction where, you know, the um, place is in the back. This is in the front. We have many things going on here. Wow. This glade will contain a major threat. Maybe we'll go to one of those crazy glades. We do have some nice uh, things over here. Very similar to our other map, actually. Is it the same? It might actually be the same. We had like a big thing here with trees in the middle and then one down here. I think I want to go that way though. I think it's a good idea. So I'm going to take our... Let's take our woodcutter's camp and just do it. Do the thing. So we'll build this first. And we have uh, five wood, which is probably not enough for anything. Yeah, not enough. So we need to actually cut into the camps to get stuff. Now, we do have... What do we have here? We have broccoli um, with roots and we have mushrooms. So that's decent. So let's see what we can build. Scavengers is going to give us reeds and eggs. Hmm. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> we have no reason to build anything right now. Nothing is going to give us stuff. So let's build those real quick. We can also look here. Oh, we have foragers or trappers. We got eggs, uh, vegetables. You know what? We're going to take this one because we want it. Oh, God. Herbs or small farms. I'm going to wait on that one until we actually have farmland. Let's see. Okay, so foragers camp goes here. And they're going to bring us broccoli. So yay. Happy days. Let's go ahead and build a nice like road system. Oh, wait. We'll just wait on, on the road system. Let's just build the woodcutters first. Important. Okay. And we're going to take our beavers. One, two, and three. And they're going to cut through here. Yep. I'm going to do that. And then here, we're also going to cut through. So we're going to just mark this. Eh, a little bit sloppy, a little bit sloppy. You know what? I can actually do a two, one, and then two. So we have five. That way we can have houses on each side or something like that. It's a nice area. And then this one, maybe we do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And minus this. Okay, that's good. So we have five going in, five going there. It's a lot of trees to chop, but I feel like it's definitely worth it. Now here, we can also kind of go in... Maybe we do like just one paths for these guys until... I don't know, we see something. Because they're not very valuable in terms of, yeah, actually getting stuff out of them. They're not very big for housing or residence or anything like that. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's play. Let's go. Let's do the thing. All right, so these things... We need more logs, but that's going to be solved with these choppers. Let's take humans here. It's going to be nice having these extra employees in the beginning, I feel. It's going to be really great. Uh, all right, so what else do we need? We can build shelters. That is also going to be important. Wanna, let's put this on priority, and then we'll build the shelters. Because I feel like shelters are really, really good. They need to be... They need to be made pronto. Oh, that's right. We don't want to put shelters here. I forgot about that. We want to put production here. You know what? We'll put our first three shelters here. Or first... I guess we need four instead of three this time because of our increased amount of people living here. I'll take a path this way, and then one this way. I think. There we go. Wait, is that right? No, it's not right. Not right at all. Oh no. Let's take it this way instead. Okay, and we take this off as well. Oh, this could be click and drag. Would love that for that to happen. Okay. There we go. All right, what do we got? We have orders. Let's pick them. 
All right, we need five tools. Wow, has that ever happened? <laughs> it feels like it hasn't. So I'm thinking, uh, wow, 10 amber and a trading post? Uh, it's easier. I don't really want to give up the amber, but yeah, that's going to have to happen, I guess. Objective, 10 copper. Okay, we get one advanced smelting perk. That's actually really good and pretty easy to do, I think. Six humans, we already have that. We get a small farm. Oh my God, we could have both farms. That would be amazing. Now here we get a scavenger's camp or we need a scavenger's and stone cutters. We get three bolts. Eh, no, this one's better. We can deliver this, I think. We just need them for 30 seconds so they hopefully they don't die. Value added tax, gain two amber for every five packs of trade goods. Hmm. Uh, wow. Gain five jerky for every ten mush soup. Ooh. Five barrels per minute. Oh, this is good. Ah, oh, this is hard. I think we're going to get the mush soup. I feel like that might be better. We already have the broccoli. I would really like to have that farm. So, so we can have both farms, actually. Okay, what's here? What do we have? We have a small encampment, new people, or... Yeah, we're going to take the amber. And do we have the broccoli right now? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. We're going to take one. Investigate this, please. And here, we just have berries. That's actually good, though. That's nice. Oh, we do have some broccoli as well. We have a lot of broccoli in this uh, playthrough. That's really good, actually. So let's take a human and work the broccoli farming. And maybe that's going to be our food source for this playthrough. Might be. We need to find some farmland. Would really like to find that. So we are having housing give us better scores. The lizard people really need to have some happiness here because they are struggling at the moment. So that's okay though. We're going to get some more houses and they will be housed very shortly. Let's see. Do we have... Yeah, we have... Three people needing a house and three houses. Okay, there we go. Or three places. All right, what do we pick here? Uh, herb garden or farm? Was it... Which one was it that gave us the thing? Oh, here we go. That was the one that gave us the farm, I think. This one... Wow, does it still... It still offers us a small farm. Ah, okay. Well, we'll pick the herb garden. Trappers camp or herbalists. Berries and mushrooms or meat and insects and eggs. Well, we have the berries. I think we need, is it, I think we need the berries in order to make the food. Do we have anything here? Let's see, mines, makeshift, post, crude workstation. We need our crude workstation. Pronto. Help. Put that there. That's always an important thing to start off with. Um, I think we go with berries here clothier or the carpenter oh dear i think we go with the clothier because um the raincoats are really important i think the lizards and the humans like them let's look let's see yeah clothing yeah and lizards also want clothing i think maybe hello no no i thought it was unless it's the beavers Leisure. Clothing. Oh, no, it's beavers. Okay, so it's beavers and humans. So if we can find a way to get this stuff, which I think we will. This stuff is scavenger's camp. Did we build one? I don't think so yet. But I would love to find more of those flowers and make ourselves a scavenger's camp. So let's get that. Let's put this here. There we go with that. So... This is the woodcutter's camp. We need to move this into a different zone. Let's move it. Eh. I don't even know. I guess here. We're just going to kind of try to go into here. Wow, it doesn't even go all the way in. It's because the camp is kind of in the way. Let's just do one tile wide. There we go. We need to move it over one tile. Jeez. This area is so crowded, but I guess we can't actually do much about it. I think I might just have to... Well, 
this is going to go away very shortly. I think this is the one we're using. So uh, alternatively, we can go down in here this way. So that's going to work. All right. So woodcutter is going to woodcut and small encampment's going to be done. There we go. Let's move this over. Okay, cool. All right. And a new lightly rainy season with chances of sunlight. Hooray. All right. So food is interesting. Uh, we are going to get this broccoli, which is very nice. And we have many, many broccoli patches. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. It's a good thing to have that stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and take a path here. Put one there so that, you know, when they go around, they can kind of drop stuff off. I do kind of want to make our way into a smaller glade where we can maybe do some uh, housing projects. Okay, folks, go, go, go. Keep on going. All right, this is cool. Okay, so housing is satisfied, which is nice. Complex food, geez, that is so scary. That, that item was like, what, huh? Help? <laughs> it's a tiny bit scary, just more than a tiny bit. So, but I'm really happy that we have certain things. So this is good. All right, let's figure out this situation. We need planks and fabric and bricks, all the things. So let's get some lizards on this. Uh, none of these people seems to be happy about the job. So we'll just leave the lizards to it. So if they're a little bit closer to home, maybe they can, you know, I was going to say chill by the fire, but that doesn't quite sound correct. <laughs> Let's see, what's going on here? Hello? Okay, they're going. They're doing their thing. All right, sunny season is almost over. We're going to... Yeah, sad time season. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're not, we're not in that hard part of the game yet. They're just discovering things. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so we have a small abandoned cache. We have fertile soil. Hooray! And we have some clay. It doesn't have a bonus, alas, but it's something. Okay, so we're going to build our stonecutters camp. We don't actually have one yet. So we'll build that here, uh, potentially. Let's figure out the farm, though, first. I want to build... Let's see. We want to cut off all of the trees from the soil. Looks like they're all done except for that one. Let's see, remove this one. Okay. And a farm. Hmm. Let's do a small farm here. Or possibly there. I think that's the best spot. So we're going to have to remove these trees. Uh, and also we can cover these farm tiles real quick. At least give the builders something to do. Nope. There we go. Okay. And I think we move one of these. Let's move this one. Move the woodcutters camp out here. And the reason for that is that they we want to get this farm done first. That's really important to do. Let's see what we have here. We have a small cache, requires tools to open, and then we get random stuff. Okay, not probably what we want to do at the moment. But it's okay, we'll figure it out. In the meanwhile, our woodcutters are going to hopefully make this uh, these trees disappear. Because I want to put the farmhouse right over there. But let's see, what do we got here? We got broccoli going on, we got roots. Kind of wonder if I should make some of that into trade goods just in general. Okay, here we go. Let's put in our... Let's put a small farm here and then the next one can be roots. I think. Yeah. Alright, let's get a uh, road. I guess we'll go through here. Let's see, path, one, two, and walk. So the path is going to go down this way so we can have houses on either side of this. Um, okay. And then maybe here and then go across. So we have that two thingy there. Okay. Good, good. Working. All right. What have we got here? Ooh, lots of eggs. Okay, cool. Got some eggs in here. Now then, what do we want to do with this? Do we want to go down? This is a really big area without any scary stuff, so I think we'll do this. We'll move the the thingy over here, 
and we'll put in our entrance. Let's just make a bigger entrance here, maybe. Get that going. Ooh, scary place. Scary place. Oh, the crown forbids you from discovering it. That's very scary. Okay. I have never seen that warning. That's a little bit terrifying, actually. Okay, let's get people working here. We need humans. And maybe we'll get some more humans. Do we have more tasks? 21 seconds. Let's wait the 21 seconds before we choose more stuff. Tactical. Okay, Forager's Camp has no deposits nearby. Okay, we are getting veggies from this. Insects and grain. We have another section here. Actually, we'll put this maybe here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, in scavenger's camp, we need a lizard here. Oh, we don't have any lizards. All right, we're going to wait for this to come about. Pling. Okay, there it is. Without a pling. What do we got? Okay, 30 clothing. Oh, yes, we want to do that. And also do houses. What is more valuable to us? We have the ability to get coats production. Do we have... Did we get the clothier? I thought we did. Or was that the other game? Oh gosh, my brain is not working. Oh no, it's here. Yay. Okay, can produce coats. That's awesome. Why did I not build this yet? Don't know. I don't know. Let's put it here. Uh, and that is going to be our clothier. That's really exciting. I think we're going to take that perk. This one. Gain additional coats every yield. How many coats do they make per each? Ten? Ah, so it's only... It's ten, but then we would get twelve? It's not bad. It's not bad. Five parts. Um, Two humans and a couple of parts. Eh, I don't think so. We could get this instantly, but I feel like the clothing one is better. Okay, let's pick another one. Two ancient tablets are found in dangerous glades. This is so iffy because you have to open up the glade and it's really scary and they may not even have a tablet within them. So I think no, I think this is easier. Building materials is actually easier. I, okay, that's going to be fine. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Maybe one day, maybe. <laughs> it's like, huh? Help, help. All the things need help. All right, still working on this, working on this. And I think we're going to move the Builder's Hut up here once these trees are done. Um, all right, we had... Did we make a Stonecutter's Hut? I don't remember if we did or not. We might have cleared some stuff in here first. I don't actually remember. Okay, let's move this uh, over here so we can do kind of both at the same time. And then let's get this road working as well. Okay. Farmers are there. Do we have any? Nobody homeless. So that's nice. So we can maybe we put in some of our homeless people out here. Uh, Stonecutters camp. Do we have one? I don't see one. So I'm going to put one in right here. Because it's going to be nice to get some stone. But we noticed that that stone doesn't have any modifier for getting copper. So that's not ideal. Let's see what's going on here. I kind of wish these things would not turn off until you clicked it. Because sometimes you don't see it right away or don't notice it. There's many different like audio cues and it's like there, there's just many of them. And it's like which one is which and which one is what. And it would be so nice if this did not disappear until you actually clicked it. All right, we got a flax field, um, mushrooms. We got an encampment and beaver traders. We need to get beavers here right away. Okay, there's one here, and then what else can we do? I think we're going to take people off of woodcutting for now to go and do this. Let's get a builder still, and then let's send them to this beaver site. That's a bit yeah. scary. Okay, so down here, we got another farm field. That's really nice. I'm going to move this one to here uh, so that we can get this farm set up. Oh, okay, so it still keeps the logs even if you, or resin, I guess, in this case. Still keeps it even if you move it. 
Okay, let's get some of these trees gone. And those are fine, usually. Wait, wait, rah, rah, rah. Hold on. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. And then we can build a farm here as well. What kind of farm is the thing? Let's build an herb garden. And we'll build that on priority. Hooray. So then we have... Wow, that's quite far. I think this is a really good case for putting a storage place down here. Let's see, this is three across. So we'll just do this way. And road. And more road. Oh, gosh. Oh, this road. We need to go around the berries and stuff. Okay, so we're going to have to kill that tree here. Trees are the real enemy, as we all know. We know this for a fact. Yes. Um, and then the beavers are getting very affected by this. Let's see what we can do here. Let's actually pick this one first. So small distillery. Rainwater can now be distilled even more effectively. Oh, that's the one we had last time. I think... Um, last time we couldn't even trade the dew. So I think we'll take the axes, actually. Seems better. Okay, beavers. Come on. Send them wood. Hurry. Go, go. Let's go. Quick. Quick, quick. Where are they? Where are they? Help. We need more stuff. We need more wood. Herb garden has no farm fields nearby. Oh. Oh, sorry. Whoops. I just assumed because it was green. No, <laughs> I forgot to put it down. Let's go. There we are. And we're still waiting on those trees to be cut. Before we get any more but we do need to put in some employees here let's i guess we take that one actually it doesn't matter because if we don't have a builder we don't have fields so yep but we need to take care of this situation here very quickly where are these employees where are they hello hello we have the wood why are they not going you know what i'm gonna delete them and add them again because i don't know what's going on with this that's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I click the button? I didn't. No, bad me. Oh, <gasps> an ancient tablet? Oh, hey. And jerky. Or amber and half a thing. Gosh, ancient tablets. That could be pretty good if we have another plingy thingy. But otherwise, they aren't actually useful. So I think we're going to take this one, maybe. We have to make the decision now, so yeah. I'm gonna leave. Oh no, actually, we can take one more beaver. It's okay. It's all right. So let's take. Let's actually get the builders, get them building all of these roads and stuff. There we go. Gosh, this is so sad. So sad. Okay, we'll just delete these trees in the middle because we can actually use this area for quite a lot of stuff. We just wanna. Kind of clear it out, make it bigger. And uh, yeah, that's nice. So they did finish this area with the wood cutting down here. I'm gonna move this kind of into the, into the center uh, a bit. Yeah, there we go. That covers almost all of it, or it does all of it. Yay. So they're working on this. Please, beaver sadness, go away. We wanna get it up, up, up before the storm comes. All right, we've got another thing. Supplier or a furnace, wow. Um, we can do the pack of trade goods. What does that mean? We have oil, pottery, barrels, tools, tools, flour, or ink. Do we have a sacred part? No, we don't have any like free goods coming in. <laughs> I'm just like, huh, can we pick that? Let's see. The furnace gives us other stuff. I think we might take the furnace. Let's take the furnace. Because I think uh, we got to have something to do with that copper ore. Wow, we are really short on wood right now. Okay. And here, we want to get a bit of road, road action happening down here. And this, I think, is a good place for a storage place. Let's pause and 
make a storage. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So here. Yay. And then we can maybe cut into these uh, different glades. We'll see. All right. Stonecutter's camp. Lizard land. So lizards are happy working here usually. We have some clay coming out of this. I guess we can also allocate a human. And then here we definitely need two humans. So we're gonna leave two beavers on building, I think. Okay, storm is here. Ah, and we need, ah, oh, we had that extra lizard from there. Hmm. Huh, I guess we just take a beaver. But we also want a clothier. Oh my gosh, we have so much to do and so many people to to hire to do it with. Or not, not enough people, I guess. <laughs> oh, this storm season is rough. Really rough. Okay, I do want to choose a path. One, two, three. So it's not very um, yeah, accessible. Not perfectly accessible, shall we say. Take that down there, but it is okay. We actually can have houses on one side, but that is another issue that we want to address is housing. So let's put another house or two over here. So we have plenty to go for next time, but this is actually the end of our episode because we've run out of time again. Gosh, this game is so addictive to play. It's really, really fun. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.